Okay, now what I wanted to show, illustrate with this, was the fact that we have 24 hours of amazing content. Essentially, I've allowed myself some time to sleep in this process. Um, but what happens socially um, for content that takes you from when you get up to when you go to sleep? Um, a little bit about us, um, briefly, to show that we're relevant. Here's our stuff. Um, this is just merely some of our stuff. Some great creative content for the likes of Doctor Who, um, Toyota, Scientific American. Uh, we take great content, make it mobile, and make it relevant on any digital platform. Um, and that allows us to make sure that we're talking to the right customers. Um, um, but also, so that can be from consumers right the way through business and business to business. Um, a very brief rundown, eight years of developing stunning mobile content, if I may say so myself. Um, 12 years of that in digital. Um, first iPad app, as we mentioned, launched on the same day as the iPad, and that's part of our innovation, is, is making sure that we're, we're keeping our clients ahead. Um, all apps promoted by Apple, five apps of the week, one, uh, number one apps in, in books, games, music, reference. Um, and 7 million plus promotional video views to kind of get the, the spread and the message of those out, uh, and over 750,000 downloads. Um, okay, if I make this introduction. Um, <laughs> Hello. Yes, I'm the pocket sized, slightly manic one. Always there with you. Always. I'm the laid back one. Just gets wheeled out for presentation. I'm the serious one. Reading. I don't get multi touch and GPS and all that. Okay, so we've got a laptop, which is, as we say, a serious one. Um, this is representing my iPhone, because I don't want to make it too small for you. Uh, and then we've got the iPad, which is kind of dragged out for presentations and other, other useful um, points of the day, whereas the iPhone is, is the personal one. Okay, looking at all the social channels here, we've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, we've got uh, LinkedIn, Google+, um, Vine, and YouTube. Um, consumers to consumers, they're all talking across these channels. Um, businesses to consumers should be looking at exactly the same channels. Um, there's no touch point here that is, is irrelevant when it comes to a business talking to a consumer. And if you can take note, exactly the same channels when you're talking business to business. We're all business sat in the room here, but we're also consumers. Um, and that's very much how this message is getting mixed up within social channels. Um, so we're now saying this spreads across all of those available to us. Um, now, I'll, I'll be showing you examples of, of relevant content, or irrelevant content, in some cases, across all of those channels. But um, here's my 24 social hours. Um, I, say, I say I've given a little bit allowance for sleep, and that doesn't always, I don't always get that luxury. Um, but there's a chance here to see how that touches all of those channels um, and as we take you through. And then, of course, I will be accompanied by some relevant or irrelevant commentary from uh, my co-presenters. Um, okay, first up. Whoa, is that what I think it is? <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, it is. Oh, first, first thing I see in the morning after a, uh, a particularly uh, interesting night out entertaining clients is uh, someone's retweeted a mashed potato penis I sculptured uh, on a plate. Um, <laughs> now, this is, again, what people like is, is it's humans um, to follow rather than necessarily brands. So if you're representing a brand, um, okay, in some instances, the, the uh, CEO of British Gas um, may well lose his job over a mashed potato penis. Um, th let's look for, so between 5.30, 6.30, this is social housekeeping, as I'd refer to it, and it's a case of trawling through the, the previous night's content, which may include mashed potatoes, um, but also the news and what we're looking at, what's, what's around the next corner as far as innovation is concerned. 6.50, I'm on my way to work. Um, so we're now looking, this is a great point for I've me got to a stop good camera. off. He has got a good camera, exactly. And I mean, this is the, 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 the instance here is that we're looking at smartphones. So why not pull over if you see that moment, capture that moment. Um, and that gives an, just another in, kind of a, a look and an insight into the personal level. Um, now here we're looking at a, an example of a Vine video. Um, I'm, personally, I'm actually quite obsessed with Vine at the moment and making sure I can kind of mould it and turn it into something that's useful for a business to consume, a business to business, um, and a great way to actually show content um, in a six second snippet in much the way 140 characters work so well for Twitter. So this is then kind of spread across from Twitter to the IDM actually re retweeting them. Um, oh, now me. next up, eight o'clock. <laughs> They get quite excited about the fact that they're starring in this video. Um, so th there's, there's the fact that we've got... No sign the of me. No sign of me at all. No. <laughs> there's no room for a laptop here. Um, so what we have there is, is, a, is a video that's gone up on, on YouTube. We've posted it to show a concept that we're looking at for the Apple iWatch. Uh, we'll come back to that later. 
Um, now, I refer to this as 8.15 to 9 o'clock as the dead zone. Essentially, any content in here tends to have an opportunity to kind of get washed, uh, washed away, lost, kind of swept under the carpet and, and, and lost without any kind of meaningful content um, getting retweeted or, or shared there. Um, and then the iWatch video goes dark. So our point of putting that up on our Brownwitz channel is so that people can discover it uh, and make of it what they will. 10.10. Um, 10. Um, I spotted a great uh, article by James Rhodes. Um, decided to retweet this. It was actually spotted by John Mitchinson, um, founder of Unbound and uh, co-founder of QI. Um, great way to spread a, a really great message about creativity. And then someone else picks up on that and decides to share that because um, and, and copying in rather than pure retweeting. Um, now next up, um, <coughs> humble brag. It, it is indeed a humble brag. Um, one of these things, it's a great thing about Twitter is you can be, if, as people know what you are and they know how you act and, and, and how you, you, you tweet, um, sending out messages like saying, having spent the last couple of days with Apple, I can safely say they're more open to feedback and criticism than ever before. <coughs> but of course, we've had lots of amazing things like number one iBooks and apps. Um, so there's an opportunity to say well, the good things and spread the word. Oh, data. I love data. Mm. It does. It's a bit weird like that. Um, but now we've found an amazing chart that actually kind of highlights some of the content that we're generally talking about and to show that the content on iTunes, whether we've got music, we've got video, we've got apps, we've got iBooks, and, and how that, that kind of content is relevant to the audience. So I'm talking to the business, the clients. Um, now, what we're looking at here is that original YouTube video that we sneakily put up, took back down again, but someone's already grabbed it. Um, they put it here and, and they're speculating, and this looks genuine to me. Seems to be a test for connected Apple hardware and sharing content. And, and an iWatch. I want an iWatch. So we haven't said this is the iWatch. What someone else has said is this is the iWatch. Um, so we're, we're now taking that step backwards. But what's now happened is someone else has taken it from them and they're repurposing it and saying this is leaked test footage of the forthcoming <laughs> Apple Watch. Brilliant, 38,910 views. Um, so what we're doing here is talking to an audience that is desperate and hungry for a certain type of content. Uh, and we're saying, well, look, we don't care that someone else has taken this. This is spreading the word. This is about getting that message out there. Um, OK, next up, another example of a Vine video. This was, um, I'd like to kind of, the challenge of six seconds to demonstrate a product. This was our Led Zeppelin iBook. Um, very successful, great, but it's a great way to spread that content. Um, and the challenge is to say, if you can't fit it into six seconds, then you probably are saying too much in the first place, much like more than 140 characters. Uh, and it's why I'm talking so fast, I have to say. Um, and then we move on to something like, um, okay, here's our new, um, our new Doors app, um, available via the App Store. But the great thing is the App Store have tweeted this to, as we says here, retweeted by iTunes Music. Um, to 3,958,299 followers. Um, that's an amazing outreach. And then obviously I haven't covered on everybody else that's retweeted that content. Um, but this is now talking to consumers. Come on, that's my number one. one. That's my number one. one. They're quite hungry for this because they like the fact um, that we, if we tweet something like a chart position, which we're at number two. We can do this, um, we can get to number one. We can, we can get to number one because we're telling people we're at number two. And the difference is rather than just being Look, we're at number one, aren't we amazing? We're saying we're at number two, come on everybody, get behind this. And that becomes a group thing, and that's exciting. Um, everyone can be part of that. Now, um, I have a, the enviable task of, of being Inspector Gadget on uh, BBC London's um, evening show, where I get to talk about all sorts of amazing gadgets. Um, so whenever it, it, I see fit, I can tweet lots of interesting pictures about the type of gadgets that be on there. But of course, copying in all of these suppliers of said gadgets, so they can retweet merrily to all of their followers. Um, now, uh, one, we, one of we're the, here to stay. Tablets are not on the way out. Exactly, tablets are not on the way out. As as mentioned and by laptops. Um, laptops are very important, of course. They very are very important. important. <laughs> Don't forget the laptops. Um, but as as tweeted and mentioned by BlackBerry boss, um, tablets are on the way out. No, they're not. Um, as I added my com uh, my comment there, BlackBerry probably on the way out. You can probably replace the word tablet. Um, now let's go back to let's go back to the the iTunes uh, sorry the YouTube content here. We've now got some great comments. We've got I can has want. Uh, this is it. I need an iWatch. I call it the MacBook iPad Watch. Yes, lolcats on my wrist now. You is all cretins. This is not iWatch. I just some iPads and shit. Um, <laughs> brilliant. I love this kind of audience. It's great. So now next thing up, we bought ourselves. I, was, I spotted this months 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 ago. 
It is. It's, it's the coolest fridge ever. This is not just a speaker. Oh, no, no. The, all the switches work on the front. This is fantastic. Um, but it's a fridge. So this is our champagne and beer fridge for the, uh, for the boardroom. Um, but, of course, I couldn't resist tweeting it. Um, and then it was comprehensively retweeted by Marshall Amps and everybody that follows Marshall Amps because they're consumers, but they're people that are genuinely interested in that content. Now, next up, um, see now, I, I hate innovation for innovation's sake, so I kind of, I, I delved into LinkedIn to make the point of sharing an article about someone that was working with the Leap Gestural con um, Unit, um, whereas they were saying, look, you can actually design things on here, you know, and you can use and control Photoshop. Fantastic. Using Photoshop is, is something that's actually a fine art in itself, um, whereas there was not enough control here. So this was annoying me. So no, this is not better than a pen or a mouse developers developing for designers. No. So it's a very personal, loud, shouty art. Um, comment after that. Um, but the, the difference there is it's getting a personal comment across within an industry now and talking about that. I mean, we are innovating and building things for Leap. Um, now, next up, another one of our amazing products. Um, but this is our this is our iPad. Right? Um, it's special. Yeah, one, one on now, me. now they're arguing about the fact that it's not available on an iPhone. I'm sorry about that. But it is available on an iPad. Um, but this was merely updating the screenshots and the content that goes with a supporting iBook that's already been at um, in the top 10 in the US and UK for 14 months. Um, so let's tell that message. So we spread the message via the Brownwick account. Um, but also via my personal account. So um, there's a, there are two different sets of followers there, but it's more of an on-brand corporate message because it's a brand with product. Um, now, the difference there is that we, um, we tend to get a, a whole bunch of retweets off mine, which looks like three of these unlikely characters over here and yet another one of my slightly weird personalities. Um, but then people across the pond and, and in, in, U, in the US were waking up and starting to pick up this kind of stuff. Um, now, this is also spread across um, this Facebook, um, for both the brand width and um, Active Right Brain, which is my, my personal blog account. Um, so that gets a, that's spreading that wider because from a personal level, I'm the author of the book, but from a branding level, it's a brand width's own book. Um, now, moving on, we've now got a, another opportunity to say here, look, Google Plus has made an appearance at this moment and um, com comprehensively not shared by anyone because probably mm -hmm. with no one else actually doing anything on Google Plus. Um, and then put back into uh, LinkedIn as well, because um, a great opportunity here to give some substance. Mm, orange. Whoa. It's orange. <laughs> so cool. What are you guys? Oh, mm. uh, sorry, sorry. The guys, they're all, um, they're all very excited about the orange car, um, apart from, I believe, the laptop's not, not excited about this. Um, now, we do a lot of work with automotive clients, um, so anything that kind of pushes a general, genuine, personal interest in cars, is something of a bit of a bonus. So, okay, I've tweeted about this is a great colour combination. Um, retweeted by um, retweeted by John Clennon. Well, now they've already moved on to the fact that I'm now, from a personal level, I've got home. I'm now going, ah, I hate the summer. And now this is signed off by any parents trying to convince children it's night time and get them to sleep. Um, so at this point, I've kind of gone into my therapy mode. Go, Olivia. Where, Yay. I've <laughs> gone into my therapy mode where, um, Olivia, one, my one of my daughters, um, was trying to get to sleep. Now, this is something, while I'm well, amusing myself trying to get her to sleep, um, I'm, I decided to tweet about the, um, the, the amazing video that we made with her a couple of weeks ago, um, where she's a news round presenter. Um, now, this is one of the great uses of a boardroom and, and a video camera, and then sending your daughter off to school, who all her friends now think she's some kind of amazing TV star. Um, I've set the bar a little too high for her when it just comes to spelling and, and times tables. Um, but why not? So I mean, we even took her um, down to the local animal sanctuary to go and film some llamas or alpacas or, or, or whatever they were. Um, but then this, this just gets shared across as my therapy. Uh, this is on YouTube, but then my therapy usually extends to Facebook, where anyone that knows me, particularly at weekends, if I'm left with the kids, um, tends to extend to me saying, I can't stand here, I can't do it, my wife's gone out, I don't know what to do with them, they smeared food all over my face. Um, so Olivia's now out on location. Um, now one of the great things here is, um, okay, then Olivia's nanny has gone and said, oh brilliant, that's fantastic. Um, so we're still on a fairly personal level there, but um, one of the things you'll see on the next, um, next slide when we've moved on is, is that it's actually a reply from one of the, um, one of the news round presenters, which is fantastic because then Olivia then goes in to tell her friends the next day, one of the news round presenters saw my clip and he thought it was fantastic. Um, so 
Or, uh, the very uh, little time I spend with my children, I can at least add something to it. So um, I'm, they're, they're utterly bemused what I do the rest of the time, but at least I can uh, finally employ some of that useful time. Let's let Olivia sign off. Oh, you've got to love llamas or alpacas or whatever they are. Jolly well done, Olivia. Um, so now down here we've got, um, yeah, Ricky Belletto is, is, is signing off and saying, fantastic, well done Olivia. Um, the teacher's thoroughly bemused by the fact that um, somehow Olivia has a hotline. For the quite presenters. big enough. Um, so moving on. I don't um, need a smaller screen either. We've got to 8.15, oh, now 9 o'clock. I don't, I don't need one. <laughs> Um, I have personal comments about people saying iPhone should have a bigger screen. Well, I've already got an iPad mini and, you know, I don't need something that's... Um, that's bigger because I don't need something that fits in between the two. So again, one of those opportunities to just dip in and give a personal comment. Um, and then, so we've got to nine o'clock and I say, well, you know, the, the tweets, I'm beginning to slow down here. This, this communication is, is getting to an end. So finally we go back and revisit the video. So we've got the final comments and is that real? Okay, then this looks real to me. The device extension across various mobile devices is a really nice feature and, and feels like something Apple might try. I like the file sharing from iPhone to iPad and it works really well with the iWatch. I hope iOS 7 makes all this possible with or without the watch. Your dad's gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, gotta love YouTube comments. Um, but at least it gives some substance. We know that we've now right. reached 166,200 right. views. I can't work with these amateurs, I can't work with them. Oh, mashed potato penis. Oh. Well, thanks. <laughs>